for the uh, final tonight here. Round number nine in the Voyan Speedway Centre. As I say, it's been a dramatic night in more ways than none, on and off the track. But uh, we've battled our way through, literally battled our way through to the conclusion here this evening. Four laps to go. Will we see a debut win for one of these guys? Their first win at Grand Prix level. And that would uh, be Robert Lambert or Jack Holder. Or will Freddie Lindgren? who's 24 points behind coming into this race, or coming into this evening, rather. He's guaranteed 14 here, as long as he completes the race, and that will put him 10 points behind. So the line-up for the final was Freddie Lingwin on the inside in the red helmet colour, Jack Holder alongside him, gate number two in blue, gate number three in white is Leon Madsen, gate number four in yellow, Robert Lambert. Now, will we see Lambert or Holder win a Grand Prix? Carolina. Freddie Lingren's wife's there, just breaking into a smile, but tense times there, <laughs> looking on. A nervous smile, I would yes, say. Yes, exactly one. right. Where's your money going, Kelvin? I'm going to go with Holder. I just sense that uh, it could just be his night. But Feels like it, doesn't it? It does indeed, but Robert Lambert will be a major threat around that outside. He, uh, with a little bit of rain that's still in the air, fortunately it hasn't come in heavy. It has done in previous years here, where it can really turn... Uh, nasty very quickly but fortunately we have uh, just holding off enough for the racing not to be interrupted which is say the chance of moving to within four points for Freddie Lingren though that's really going to uh, encourage him in this one isn't it indeed indeed it will so here we do coming forward riders settling down just five seconds to go Star Marshall's happy he moves away green lights on Movement from Leon Madsen out of gate number three. Leon, he uh, chops back to the inside, but it's Freddie Lingwin gets to the first corner. Now hold around the outside of Madsen, tied between those two as they enter turn number three on the opening lap. Lingwin out in front, now chased hard by Madsen. Robert Lambert is at the back. Freddie Lingwin slams the door shut, but drifts wide. Oh, Here yeah, comes Madsen up the inside. Tight down the back strike. Oh, my goodness, that was oh. close. I tell you what, Freddie Lingwin was a brave man there as Leon Madsen once again by lifting on him just before he gets to the corner. Freddie Lingwin was fully aware of what's going on. He's not going to leave a hole up the inside now. If Leon Madsen's coming past, he's either going to have to drive a hole through him or run right around the outside. Here comes Madsen around the outside. Freddie Lingwin very... Yes, he's done yeah, it. Done Madsen it. storms to the front here in the final, in front of uh, the Danish crowd, down the back straight for the last time. Brilliant effort from Leon Madsen. Freddie Lingwin back in second place, and Leon Madsen wins here in Denmark. What a moment for him. He's going to go straight back into the top six. Delights the home crowd. Oh, what a moment. I know how much this is going to mean to him. I know how much he wanted this. And he rode like that. Absolutely brilliant there in the final. Freddie Lingman picking up 18 points. Six points the difference now between himself and Bartosz Smarzik as we head towards round number 10. And Jack Holder and Robert Lambert will have to wait for another day for their first Grand Prix win. Leon Madsen, a stunning ride in the final. He picks up a win here in Boyens. Freddie Lingman back in second place. Jack Holder third and Robert Lambert misses out on the rostrum. But sheer delight for Leon Madsen, the world number two coming into 2023. He's had a topsy-turvy season, but tonight he will stand on top of the box. Brilliant. Yeah, brilliant ride, brilliant ride. He had to use all of his experience and track craft coming off statistically the worst gate, gate three. And uh, oh, brilliant ride. He's going to enjoy this. Nicky Pedersen also delighted, of course, winning here at home. It's been hard to do that here. We've only had two Danish winners in recent times, Hans Nielsen back in the 90s, 2012 for Michael Jepsen Jensen. But tonight, Leon Madsen has done the business. 14,000 people in the stadium. Majority of them are from Denmark, and they are chuffed to bits with that. What a night it's been. And, uh, Jack Holder there, sportingly going across to congratulate Leon Madsen, who doesn't want to know for a moment. <laughs> yeah, no, he's too there we go. celebrating. Uh, just a word in his ear, but uh, Jack Holder, I'm not sure he's best pleased or not, but um, nonetheless, uh, not Jack sure Holder and Robert Lambert will have to wait for another day for their first victory. Brian Carger there, the engine tuner. It's been a tough time, but they've uh, battled through and uh, a brilliant result in the end for Leon Metz. And the 20 points coming in, very handy indeed. So we've got six points between the top two in the world now. And uh, 
it is going to be some shootout in two weeks' time in Torren, that's for sure. Real drama. Burn out on the start line for Leon Madsen, clearly overjoyed. Hope he doesn't get <laughs> it all wrong stop. now. Hope he doesn't get it all wrong and embarrass himself. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm sure he'll be fine, off. but uh, I don't think he's going to stop until he runs out of fuel. <laughs> it won't be long. Keep revving the bike like that. Certainly had the throttle wide open there in that race. Ryan Carger in the pits, his engine tuner having kittens. Here we see it again, yeah, it's uh, Jack Holder elected to take gate two, but Freddie Lingram was on the inside of him. And I did say that uh, I wouldn't leave the inside for Freddie Lingram, especially when he's got something on it like he has tonight. And he hits the front from the start. It was a good start for Freddie Lingram, does all the right things. Leon Madsen once again reacts well, but gate three not working, but he just chops back to the inside. Has to deal with Jack Holder first. Jack just coming onto the straight there, just turns the bike for a little bit too long. Doesn't get his wheels in line. Freddie Lindgren brave to chop across the front of a hard charging Leon Madsen who wants to win it for the home fans. Robert Lambert there trying to sneak up the inside. And uh, well, Leon Madsen, I said it here, he's, he's trying to work the inside. Brave from Freddie Lindgren to chop yeah, his right nose there. off. And I did say that he was either going to have to drive a hole through Freddie Lindgren or elect to, elect to ride around the outside. That's what he chooses to do and makes it work perfectly. But it was all going on in this race. He was leaving himself vulnerable from attack from uh, Jack Holder. They're there, runs across the back of Freddie Lindgren. Freddie now defensive, knows he's coming, looks across, can't do anything about it. It's too late to shut the door. Yeah, great ride from Leon Madsen. And as hard as uh, Freddie Lindgren tried there, just uh, was a sitting duck in the end. Yeah. And Leon Madsen had the speed and uh, made the right move at the right time. It was uh, a hectic race there, that's for sure. It was dramatic stuff. Certainly when he lifted at the end of the back straight, I thought he was going to run in the side of Freddie, but uh, just about managed to hang on to it. So uh, Leon so Madsen, run out of fuel. he has run out of fuel, but he hasn't run out of energy. <laughs> and uh, that's what a win does for you. I yeah. bet he could do 20 more laps of this uh, Voyne Speedway Centre. Clearly delighted with the win. And uh, his first win of the season. Someone's going to have to rugby tackle him and pop him on the roster, I think. There's no doubt that the decision to come to ride for Voyne Speedway team seems to have paid big dividends. Delighting the home crowd. Leon Madsen overjoyed. His top six berth now looking much more secure as a consequence of the 20 points tonight. We'll give you the update to the championship standings it's shortly. What adrenaline can do for you, isn't That's it? That's right, yeah, he'll just keep going. He's like a Duracell battery right now. He'll just keep going and going and going. But uh, for Leon Madsen, a special moment after a tough, tough season in the Grand, uh, Grand Prix. We'll bring you up to date with the points handed out for tonight for the top four. 20 points, of course, for Leon Madsen. And uh, coming into tonight, that will be very useful indeed. 18 for uh, Freddie Lindgren. There we are, that's the confirmation of tonight's Grand Prix points for the final. Leon Madsen, 20, 18 for Freddie Lingwood, Jack Holder on 16, Robert Lambert, 14. Those two lads will be touch disappointed. They've had great nights, but nonetheless, they were looking for a win. They'll want to win a Grand Prix very soon. It's um, uh, not too far away, you would suggest. They've both ridden superbly well tonight. So let's uh, move down to the centre green where we will be able to join Scott Nichols and the winner of the night, Leon Madsen. Yeah, your round nine winner here in Voyens is home hero, Leon Madsen. Are you regretting doing that run now? Because you've got to try and chat to me. Tag Voyens! <laughs> oh, man, I'm so happy. What a great reception you guys gave me today. You gave me that extra last power in the final heat. I'm just uh, very happy to be back on the podium and on the top one. And uh, yeah, I'm just uh, very thankful to be racing here in, uh, today in front of all you guys. You made a fantastic atmosphere. Thank you. Tusen Tag Voins. Alessa Feste. Woo! Leon, we can see how much it means to you. It's been a tough year. You can see the emotion. What was going through your mind as you come out that last bend on the last lap, knowing that you're going to go over the line as Victor tonight? Mate, to be honest, I don't remember the heat very well. It all went so fast and it was so hectic, uh, swifting position all the time. But uh, I think I made a good, 
a good move, and uh, yeah, just in the last last corner, I was just uh, freaking out. I was so happy to finally be back uh, winning a GP. Mate, really happy for you. Well done. Go and take that top step. Well done. Thank you very much. Yep. Overjoyed, Leon Madsen. Smashing uh, performance from him, delighting the home crowd. So we'll bring you up to date with the standings in the World Championship, and this is going to make very interesting reading indeed. Bartosz Smarzik stood out on front and 138 points. Six points behind him is Freddie Lindgren. Martin Vasilik hanging on to third, uh, third place. Alongside him, joint third place is Jack Holder. Dan Bewley moving into fifth place. Robert Lambert into the top six tonight. Sounds Leon Madsen certainly with one round to go, looking very threatening there in seventh. Jason Doyle slipping down the ranks into eighth as a consequence of the crash earlier on. Max Frick in ninth. Ty Wolfenden, who is injured in tenth. But uh, for Freddie Lindgren into second place and everything to race for in Torren. An extraordinary night here tonight.